Northern Montana, primarily the drainage of the Milk River, is blessed with dozens of hoofprint tradition petroglyph boulders. Sometimes these are found in clusters. Others, though, are single, small boulder with a single hoofprint sitting up on the bluffs above the Milk River Valley. These boulders exhibit strong bison symbolism, some expressed by the buffalo hoofprints, but others by the fact that the rocks themselves resemble reclining bison. Having recently recorded the Samsal boulder with a nice outline of a reclining bison, located west of the Sweetgrass Hills in the upper reaches of the Milk River drainage, we were intrigued to learn of two more petroglyph boulders with hoofprints that had been known for more than 50 years, but had never been previously recorded. So the Oregon Archaeological Society's rock art group decided to hit the road and visit both sites to record them. We struck out in early July and wound up first in Haver, Montana. In Haver, we stopped at the Wakpachugan Buffalo Jump. Wakpachugan is a name of one of the local Indian languages, means big river. The site comes complete with its own little interpretive center. Uh, it's just behind the H. Earl Clack Museum in Haver. It's well thought of by the locals and it's a tourist destination for many people that drive Highway 2 across northern Montana. At Walk Pechugan, we were treated to an in-depth tour of the site by Patrick Rennie, the Montana State Department of Natural Resources and Conservation's archaeologist. Patrick is the person who had brought our attention to the Echo Hawk petroglyph boulder, another one that we saw later on this tour. Walk Pechugan reveals a great deal about communal buffalo hunting between 1,000 and 2,500 years ago. And we were duly impressed by deeply buried layers of bison bone, complete with hearths and post holes and, and basant points and Avonlea points. All of these excavations are still open for the public to view. They're protected by constructed shelter. The importance of bison in understanding these petroglyph boulders has long been recognized. Linnea Sundstrom has probably done the most research on this. She's done intensive research on the buffalo, hoofprint tradition, and human views of bison and sexuality. Probably the best evidence of bison symbolism is the sleeping buffalo petroglyph boulder that was removed from the Cree crossing area of the Milk River near Malta and it just looked like a buffalo lying down on the prairies. And it was carved to resemble a buffalo with horns, nose, mouth, ribs, tail, the whole thing. Such boulders are often associated with bison kills or bison kill complexes. One of those instances is at Wakpachugan. This boulder originally sat on the bluff top above the kill site but it was moved closer to the site area when the top of the bluff was developed for a small shopping mall, which is still there today. The boulder has a single large but very faded bison hoof print carved on it. Eventually, they moved that petroglyph boulder down off the bluff top and into the fenced area around the site so it wouldn't be stolen. Well, we recorded the hoof print on the petroglyph boulder at Wakpachugan. It's a very lightly abraded hoof print quite large, in one face of the boulder. And again, unfortunately, we have no idea what its original orientation was. It's big enough hoof print that when it was fresh, you could have seen it from the bison kill area itself. While at Wakpachugan, we also met Bim and Janice Strausser. These two people own a ranch up near the Canadian border, and their leasehold rights are on Montana state land, where our second site, the Echo Hawk Petroglyph Boulder, is located. We followed them 40 miles north of Haver to their ranch, and we came out on the top of a little knoll where they walked us up to the Echo Hawk Petroglyph Boulder, uh, so named by the original investigators, one of whom was Myron Echo Hawk, a Pawnee Indian from Oklahoma. This small boulder is nestled in a small rock cairn perched atop a low knoll with a world-class view of both the Milk River Valley and the Sweetgrass Hills on the western horizon. In fact, the, the little knoll is just above a thing called the Little Lost River. We don't know of bison kills in the immediate vicinity, but one of the first things we noted about the boulder is, in miniature, it's a bison form boulder. Recording Echo Hawk was relatively simple. We traced the visible images on clear plastic. 
While doing so, we discovered several images and parts of images not noted by the original investigators. Some of our crew even found a rattlesnake in a nearby rock cairn, but we left him alone and he left us alone and everybody went away happy. In short, field trips often overlook small sites like this in favor of the large, more spectacular ones. Petroglyph Canyon, Bear Gulch, Petroglyph National Monument, but in fact, these two small boulders and the Wakpachugan Interpretive Center provide a good example of the hoofprint tradition art in northern Montana. And they show us carefully, clearly, how this art relates to the broader subject of archaeology.